As we head into another hot weekend, folks living in Post Falls are getting some good news from Avista. Yeah, you, the, today the utility announced that it's changing up its repair schedule at the Post Falls Dam, so a nearby beach and boat launch can finally open for the summer. KXY4 Chef Humphrey shows us why it's taken so long to get people back in the water. Well, it all started with our unusually wet spring. Coeur d'Alene got 11 inches more than normal. That pushed back maintenance to the Post Falls Dam, keeping this boat launch and beach closed, making warm and sweaty people even hotter. Ever since someone's boat broke down and was swept over the dam with three people aboard, it's been illegal to be in the water below the Spokane Street Bridge when spill gates are open. But some people have now lost their patience with that ordinance. A little sad. It's really unfortunate because this is really local and it's just nice to be able to walk over here. I used to live right up the street, but now it's like pointless. In the last week when the temperatures went up, yes, we have fielded hundreds of calls. Um, I understand. Everybody wants to be in the water. The park and boat launch were closed during the 4th of July because of all the rain we received back in June. Then Avista started some pre-scheduled maintenance work on its turbines, which forced the utility to continue to spill water over the dam. Near my businesses started losing money on the boating crowd, and the city couldn't charge admission to Camelin Park. We figure for the 4th of July we will lose between six and seven thousand dollars in parking revenue and boat launching. Monies. And Post Falls officials can't break their own safety ordinance, and so it looked like Camelin Park would be closed through yet another hot weekend. But late this afternoon, a Vista announced it would delay work on one of those turbines, bring it back online so it could pass water through the dam, and finally close all the gates for the summer. Tina Marie Schultz owns Rose's Italian Deli and is delighted people will finally be stopping by her store to buy picnic lunches for the park. I, I think compromise is always when you get a good meeting of the minds, that, then go for it, you know? And so gives the kids something to do, gives the adult, and bring people into the store so we could stay open and serve our community too. Post Falls Park officials say they will be taking down these swimming fences tomorrow morning. Then if Avista's work stays on schedule and we don't get too much rain overnight, this popular beach and boat launch should be open for business by Saturday afternoon. Reporting in Post Falls, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.